is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, everybody? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We have eight games on a Thursday here, James. We are not used to large Thursday slates. Usually uh, we got like three or four games for a Thursday, but they're doubling the slate on us here. Uh, coming off of a six-game Monday where you correctly predicted that the Brooklyn Nets rotation was going to be absolute mayhem. It was. Uh, Mikael Bridges, Cam Thomas, and uh, Royce O'Neal did not play the second half of that game. Uh, after starting the first half, uh, we saw... Uh, basically, the G League version of the Nets played the majority of that second half there with uh, BSJ getting 30 minutes. Uh, we see Kevin Durant with 20 points, 16 assists, and 8 rebounds in this matchup for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, we saw Scotty Barnes have a big night. Giannis and Chris Middleton both had really big nights there. Philly beat Orlando. Uh, and Luka Doncic had like 30 actual at half. So uh, a lot of a lot of good basketball that was played. Uh, but now we roll this one on over to the eight games on Thursday. Uh, a lot of names here, some questionable names already uh, as well that we're going to be paying attention to when it comes to uh, some injury potential. Uh, notable, we have Jason Tatum as questionable for injury management. Uh, if there was a game to rest Jason Tatum, it may be the uh, 27 straight lost Detroit Piston team coming to town. So uh, certainly... Need to be on the lookout uh, for that one. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, questionable. Jalen Brown is even questionable for Boston. Jimmy Butler is questionable amongst the notable guys that are already ruled out. John Morant is questionable for this one. Wemby is going to play in this game, but not play on the Friday back-to-back. So maybe there's some safe minutes for Wembyama. Towns is questionable. So uh, for eight games, definitely a lot of news that we will be once again waiting on here. I can't believe you just put safe minutes and Wembenyama in, in the same sentence. Uh, well, just knowing Popovich, it, knowing Popovich. But that if he's gonna, if they already ruled him out for Friday, that they're that's gonna fair. give him a green light on a Thursday. But who yeah, knows? that's fair. Um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting slate that we just who knows what the hell is gonna happen, John? Because every big name again, uh, much like Thursday or Wednesday slate, is questionable uh, in terms of game totals. Uh, Boston are two touchdown plus a field goal favorites over Detroit. And that's with Tatum and Brown questionable. Um, probably only if they, if they say it's probably still like 12, even without. Yeah. Derek guys. Guys gonna go for 45. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that game's two thirty total two forty and a half is the slate high in Chicago, Indiana, uh, Chicago, two and a half point home dogs. Price check. Did you look yet? Do you know what he is? No, I did not look. I did you not look. guess. I mean, we they had the news that he was Vucevic was going to be out seven to ten days. Right. Sixty-two. Seventy-five. <laughs> they did not wait. And you know what? I pay it. Probably still pay it. Yeah. Have to probably, pay it, right? Yeah, probably probably happy to pay it. Um two forty and a half total against Indiana. So under seventy five. And just went for twenty four and twenty five. So That's not a bad not a bad outing. Forty minutes. Uh shout out Andre Drummond uh for that one. Uh two thirty seven and a half in Utah, New Orleans. Uh New Orleans eight and a half point home favorites. Two thirty two and a half in San Antonio, Portland. A lot of injury news already came through the wire for Portland, I believe. The same guys are out. I think Shaden Sharp and DeAndre Ayton were both already ruled out. Yeah. They are. So um, we're going to get much of that rotation again. Will we see Moses Brown more? Will we see Dua Brief not miss a shot and break a slate? We'll, like, you know, find out next time on right. can Dua Brief go 15 for 15 for the floor? Um, uh, so there's some interesting uh, things going on in Vegas. Let's see. Any... Uh, we don't have the Dallas Minnesota line here, right. John. Yep, that is because you know Luca went into Wednesday's game questionable. He played. He definitely did not disappoint, but um, we are just unsure of his status, obviously for Thursday. So TBD on um, that game, just not yep. knowing Luca's uh, if Luca's going to play or not. Gordon Hayward out f- uh, for Charlotte. There are thirteen point dogs on the road to the Lakers in that one as well. Uh, as another notable Aaron Gordon, if you saw the news yeah. earlier today, he got uh, bit by a dog on Christmas, needed 21 stitches. So he's going to be away.
from Denver uh, for a little bit. So he obviously uh, that situation is going on there. Uh, Bruce Brown has already been ruled out. Brandon Miller missed last game. He's questionable. Both Caleb Martin, Duncan Robinson, you know, basically the rotation for the uh, Heat uh, have questionable tags on them right now. Isaiah Stewart's already been ruled out for Detroit. You know, so it's so much news to come here on this slate. Did you see who played extended run for the Heat the other day? Uh, was it Kevin Love? I don't even know. No, RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton, get out. He only played 17 minutes, but I just wanted to I just wanted to point out um uh, that oh, that's what that's what the Heat might be <laughs> be dealing with um into this game. Let's jump into things, Sean. Sure. sure, point guard. Uh Luca is here at eleven eight. We'll see if he plays or not. Uh Halliburton at 10-3 uh on the other side of that matchup with Chicago. Uh, Halliburton coming off of his back-to-back 61 fantasy point games. You know, there was a, a little stretch there of a lull where we weren't really paying the price for Halliburton. Um, now he's the cheapest he's been in a little bit, and uh, he's coming off back-to-back 60s. So uh, something to certainly watch for there. Point guard, small forward, LeBron James at $9,800. Good. Because uh, he is the point guard for that team right now. Um, ridiculous assist totals uh, of the last handful of games for him. John Morant, 97. Steph at $8,900 there. Yeah, I mean, if Luca plays, we talked about it with the SGA thing, right, the other day. Like, you can get stars at low ownership, and sometimes it doesn't matter. And he's just been as good as anybody in the league right now. Mm-hmm. So if you want to get to Luca, by all means, do so. Um, Tyrese Halliburton, I mean, you mentioned it. Back-to-back 60 bombs, right? Yeah. But here's the thing. That we've said all year with Tyrese Halliburton, right? The last two games. Tyrese Halliburton, to get like his ceiling, needed to get you that 30-point triple-double. Well, he did it twice in a row, like essentially. So um, if that's what we're going to get out of Halliburton, um, I'm perfectly fine getting there. The minutes have been tremendous out of him, too. That's, I think, as good as it's been. Um LeBron, like point LeBron is really hard to ignore. I, I know he was bad against Boston. That happens a lot <laughs> uh, against Boston. They are in the rebounds and assists were good. He just didn't score. Right. I mean, look at the rebounds assists for LeBron over the last, like what? I mean, all year, but like yeah. lately is insane. Um, yeah, last four games, he's averaging 8.8 and 9.3. So. And, and, you know, sprinkles in a 40 bomb in the, in the middle of that um, mm-hmm. 40 actual. So if you want to get to LeBron, by all means, go to eligibility for the goat, for the goaded one himself. Sure. Probably don't, I'm not saying I wouldn't get the jaw illness in a non COVID illness in Denver. Yeah. Doesn't feel great. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it the Denver strip clubs that it was like his last, uh, his last that, that, may, that may, may, may or may not be true. Um, I will not, I will not, uh, confirm nor deny whether, <laughs> the, whether that is sure or not. Um, Steph is definitely interesting in like a bounce back scenario. I don't know if you saw them post the num. He's like the worst Christmas player of all time. Like he has like, it's weird. Um, but, you know, poised for a bounce back. Miami in the month of December, 17th in defense. They've just been really good offensively. So they're not the same defensive team that they once were. Yeah. And, you know, they just different team, I would say. Like a lot of different pieces. Josh Richardson, Jaime Jaquez, Duncan Robinson. Like all three of those guys, like not really defensive stalwarts. So um, Steph 89 is like slightly interesting. So this, this, this top tier for me, I feel like, the top three names really stand out. And then like Moran and Curry are like, they're fine. If you sure. Uh, Hero, Rozier, Kate Cunningham had a really big game. Could be facing a boss on Tatum and Brown. Uh, Anthony Simons, Kobe White, the 8K range for you here. 8K range. Um, Tyler Hero is more than fine if there's no Jimmy Butler. Um, 8,400 is fine. It gave you 41 Thank still while shooting 8 of 25. So. Yeah, the shot attempts are, and the minutes are are crucial for Tyler Hero. Is and, he, and he's a good peripheral guy, so perfectly fine getting there. T. Rose was definitely a little disappointing. Um, but again, it, it's like one of those situations you live with this because he didn't let you down in minutes and he, he 
didn't stand in the corner. He yeah. had the ball the whole game. One for eight from three, eight for 23. Um, shout out my birthday from the floor. And then 39 minutes, like nothing wrong with any of those. So you yeah. live with that. Multi yeah, 34 eligible. fantasy points isn't a, isn't 10, you know, like he had uh, you know, back against Philly. It's, it's not yeah. good, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened to you there either. I don't think uh, Cade goes for – I hard pressed to get like 41 actual against Boston um, for Cade. Yeah. Love to see it happen two of the last four games for him, though. It, it, it is. Um, and, you know, like I'm not saying it's not in his bag, but like – you know how – like Cade is one of those like stupid foul players where mm -hmm. like he commits like those fouls. You're like, dude, what are you doing? You think that Derek White – and Drew Holiday aren't going to draw, like, stupid fouls. Like, they're going to come up with, like, multiple steals on Cade, and he's going to be so frustrated that, like, this is, like, an ejection game for Cade. <laughs> Just, like, um, like he's so frustrated with how good Derek White and Drew Holiday are defensively that he's just, like, he just, like, loses his cool. Right. Uh, and the fact that they've lost 27 in a row and now have to play Boston. Um, it's not the best time. But uh, Anthony Simons is the guy here. Yeah, another 40 fantasy points for him. Uh, guys are already ruled out. San Antonio matchup, uh, all of that works. Uh, Kobe White, just under him, did not have a good game against Atlanta. You know, last couple of games, we're looking more Kobe White-ish yes. than uh, you know, the, the previous 10 were, right? Yeah. So uh, totally in, in sync with you on that one. 7K range, Jamal Murray at 77, Malcolm Brogdon 74, Derek White 71, Devin Vassell 7K. I like Jamal Murray, dude. Jamal Murray has been really good. I know the minutes are what they are, 33-34. That's seemingly the cap while he works his way back. I think sooner than later will be higher than that. He'll play like mid to high 30s instead of low to mid 30s. But it is worth noting. I mean, no Aaron Gordon, right? So mm -hmm. that's another guy off the floor. I mean, their starting unit on Christmas all had like 16 plus points. Right? right, like that just goes to show you how reliant upon their starters are they are, and that's just gonna bump here. Um, Dr Jamal Murray, twenty seven percent usage rate without Aaron Gordon, one point zero five fantasy points per minute, super solid. So, um, definitely in on Murray. I have nothing bad to say about Malcolm Brogdon, other than I, I don't know, like that whole second quarter he didn't play. Do you remember we were yeah. like watching yeah. like? Portland went on that insane run and they just like didn't put Brogdon back in until like the last minute of the quarter, him and Moses Brown were like, Oh, okay. I guess do up wreath and Scoot Henderson are just going to play this whole game. Mm -hmm. um, but he still eventually had a good game. So like definitely okay. Getting to Brogdon. If anyone on Boston sits or if they don't even sit, you can just play Derek white. Cause he's Boston's best player. Another 46 uh, fantasy <laughs> points on, against the Lakers. I mean, like with, with Brown and Tatum playing, I mean, he's just so good. Um, I, I'm I'm very intrigued by the discourse around him as an all star because he should be, but like the stats versus like other Eastern guards, yeah, are what, like the casual fan are gonna see. Um, so that's unfortunate for Derek White. Um, I like Devin Vassell at seven K. Truthfully, um, thirty four minutes, eighteen shots, forty fantasy points. Um, yeah, and, and we know that's like in Devin Vassell's bag. So yeah, and Keldon Johnson's gonna come off the bench again as, as a yeah as apparently a apparently yeah pop already said that right where he yeah. said like yep yeah, that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh all right uh 6k range any of these guys popping off for you we did get Keontae George return play 25 minutes off the bench not gonna pay him at 62 Sexton 63 again got the minutes 28 uh 29 rather started still uh if long as he's in the starting lineup there's probably some appeal here right Yes, as long as he's in the starting lineup. Now, they're obviously, we'll see how quickly the ascent for Keontae George is, right? Like, that's mm -hmm. probably pretty contingent on, like, Sexton's minutes. Yeah. At least that would be my assumption. They did bring Clarkson off the bench, which I yeah. found extremely interesting. And he had another good game off the bench. And he, and he had another good game. And and that shouldn't be surprising. We've seen Jordan Clarkson make his living off, like, coming off the bench, right? So, yeah. um, Utah's still just really tricky because... At any moment, Will Hardy can play these guys 20 minutes and you just wouldn't be surprised, right? Like, right. you just, it just happens. Um, so, yeah, if Sexton's starting, I, I I have mild interest. Okay. Uh, value tier. Uh, anybody under 6K for you that you would prioritize? Um, I know, obviously, Nembard was a big value play for everybody, 34 minutes. You know, 
got there ish, you know, 20 four X, you know, do you have any appeal for the five K range? Scoot Henderson had double double off the bench uh, for Portland in that game. Anything? I definitely have interest in Scoot um, without and for uh, without. I'm having a brain fart, John. Help me out here. Uh, Shaden Sharp. Shaden Sharp. Okay. Um, I don't understand why Podzimski is 5,700 still, but that's a thing. So, I mean, I'm not sitting here saying he's going to have five steals, but like the peripheral stats have, are, are pretty real. And yeah. if he makes shots, then he has a really high ceiling uh, because he's just everywhere. He's a very good offensive rebounder. He's a very good passer. He The steals are consistent. I just like five is hard to like project again. Um, if he makes shots, I, I'm a little confused again why he's 5,700. So I yeah. definitely like Pod. Um, Scoot. Io had a big game off the bench over Patrick Williams. He had 40 fantasy points. You know, I don't, I don't think you can do that, but it is worth mentioning, like with Io Desumu, that you know, if Patrick Williams sucks again, it's Indiana. And what if sure. Io makes shots? I mean, that's a thing. 27 fantasy points, two of his last four. So all that is fine. Does it feel like it could be a fast PP game here? It does. It really, really does. Right? I mean, blow it's a 17 point spread. Brown and Tatum may not play. Uh, Pritchard, you know, 29 minutes against Sacramento, 23 against the Clippers in those blowout games. And he had 20 actual and 20 fantasy points there. And we've seen him, you know, a few times this year when he gets these blowout run 28 minutes, 37 fantasy points. Um, not afraid to shoot when he gets on the floor. If, uh, you know, building a couple of lineups and you want to play some game theory stuff, Peyton Pritchard probably makes some sense. I mean, look at every game he's basically played, like you said, like every game he's played 26 or more minutes. It's just like uh, 30 plus fantasy points, almost yeah. 30 every every single game. So yeah, for the most part, yeah, he's right there. He's, he fires away, he fills the stat sheet up. It's pretty interesting. So um, anybody else on here for you? Um. What did Ish do? Ish only Ish played fifteen. Nick Smith played twelve. They they uh like oh. basically chopped. Um, to see who's gonna play for um oh Kobe Cody Martin will that's who it is. Cody Martin will get to him. Cody Martin is thirty eight hundred. He played twenty five minutes at twenty three fantasy points. That guy is going to be eighty percent roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trey Jones would be the other guy. Okay, he played. Tw- he actually got twenty seven minutes off the bench, which. Kind of surprising. 25 fantasy points, 27 minutes. About what I expect from Trey Jones. Sure. Uh, shooting guard here, Anthony Edwards is $9,300, 43 fantasy points for him. They got blown up by OKC. Nothing you really do there. He's still got 34 minutes, but we know he's usually playing another four or five in competitive games. So maybe he would have got to 50. Uh, if there's no Luka Doncic, you know, I don't even know where we. Towns back approach. on the injury report, too. Towns is questionable. Right. Yeah, I don't even know how we would approach that game. Um, no, well, we saw what well, we saw. They lost by 40 the two mm-hmm. games about Luca. So, and, and now this is the number one team in, yeah, in the West. Yeah. So, not a lot fun. Uh, if Tatum's out, Jalen Brown, super chalk, um, would be pretty popular, I would assume, at $8,300 uh, against the, the Pistons. Uh, Desmond Bain keeps knocking down shots, man. I guess we're, I guess we were <laughs> wrong. And there may not even be John Rain in this game. So, yeah, I mean, we just go back to that, right? And it's not like the great the greatest spot because it is um, obviously like Denver is not the easiest place to play, but yeah. it five of he, twelve, five of fourteen, <laughs> five of fourteen. So. Yeah, I mean if he's if he's gonna keep shooting, uh, it's not like it's just like the volume, right? Like yeah. or yeah. like thirty five percent, thirty five percent, but he's shooting so many threes with Jaw that like if he's gonna keep getting that much volume, there's no reason. Morant and and um, Bain are taking a third of the team's offensive <laughs> shots. Crazy. So every every possession is generally either a shot by Bain or a shot by Moran more often than not. So uh, we didn't touch on McCollum. He's under seven K now. You have Ingram at under eight K. Obviously Zion being back. Um, you know we looked at the usage. We looked at the fancy points per minute. But Rand and Ingram had no problem doing the damage against Memphis. Uh, now he's got Utah here. Do you, are you interested in any of these Pelicans players? Um, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a good spot. You can get to any of them. Like, do you feel about the Pelicans the same way you do as the Celtics, generally? 
Yeah, it's hard to get to that. I would say the only problem, the the difference is like, yes, I like, it, I feel the same way. The Pelicans are definitely more appropriately priced. Or like, like fairly priced. Like Celtics yeah. are all just so expensive. But I do agree. Anyone can go off. McCollum, under 7K, I was like, oh man, I can, like I was looking at him like under 7K, it's really good. Yeah. But he just like hasn't. Yeah. Like Zion, under 30, Zion yeah. is a high usage play. He went for another twenty. What was it twenty four points he had in that game or something like yeah. that? Yeah. So, and then we saw what Ingram did. So yep. uh, Clarkson off the bench at sixty nine hundred dollars, playing thirty and twenty seven minutes, back to back forty plus fantasy points here. So um, again, we know what he can be, and sometimes coming off the bench isn't terrible for Jordan Clarkson. So um, fine there. We'll see if who sits. If anybody sits for the Lakers, but Austin obviously Reeves would be interesting. Yep. That ends up being the case. The Dallas guys would all be interesting if Lucas sits. Uh, but we could see Tim Hardaway sit in this game too, right? He was questionable going into the uh, into the Wednesday slate. Uh, where are you on like Clay Thompson, Buddy Heald, Trey Murphy group? Uh, every single one of those guys you just mentioned are three ball heavy dependent, right? Like they all just space the floor. And if they make a bunch of threes, they have a ceiling. So um uh, Clay has been probably the best of all of them outside of the Christmas Day game. But I, I'm okay getting back to Clay. I, I probably most likely get to Clay of the three. Okay. Um, value. You talked about Zinsky already. You have Caruso. What did Marcus Smart play? Marcus Dude, Smart played 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I was going to say it's smart because, one, John might not play. True. Then Marcus Smart's playing immediately i mean again monitor minutes right we say this all the time like they monitored him and let him play 30 minutes mm -hmm. now what is he gonna play they're monitoring him he's gonna play 35 right um 30 fantasy points at 5400 dollars. he went for 30 fantasy points and his price dropped 200 dollars. why I, I mean i don't i don't right. get that so mark of smart 54 um the DraftKings, the DraftKings algorithm done it again john Jaden hardy 5300 dollars here they knew. Um, they, knew. they were they were prepared. Um, so like probably just full fading Dallas if that's gonna be the if that's gonna be like the pricing on these guys, like I'm not playing them fifty three hundred. Um Champagne <laughs> twenty five minutes. Dude, he it's really tilting because you and I were talking about this and he came out and made all of his shots right away, mm -hmm. and that just took Branham off the floor and kept Champagne on the floor and then right. Champagne, eight percent. He was in the winning lineup on Tuesday because eight percent played a guy at what was his price forty two hundred who went for right. thirty two fantasy points. It's like whatever, dude. Um, KCP maybe. Sure. Any interest there? Uh, I mean, no Aaron Gordon. So, what do you think? Who do you think the starter is? By the way, Peyton Watson. Yeah, probably. Just like another athletic wing, like Peyton Watson. Or do you think they go like Michael Porter at the four, Christian Brown? They could. They could definitely go there. I mean, we saw um, Strother for play for a period of time there, right? Um, Brown is shooting guard small forward 39. Strother is shooting guard small forward 34. If Brown okay. were to start at 39, I'd have interest. I'd also yeah. have interest, and I you know this already, but Peyton Watson, 3,800. If Peyton Watson were to start, yeah. I would have. Doesn't it feel like Peyton Watson would be the guy here? Yeah, I mean, naturally, with all those commercials, like he, they yeah. got to get him some exposure, right? Um, we could see McGowan start for uh, for Hayward. Just you know, mention. Yeah, that. you you hit the nail in the head though. Like McGowan's is probably going to start, but Martin's the yeah, Martin's their guy here. Martin's the better play. Yep, and he's thirty eight hundred bucks. So uh, any of these other guys? I mean, what's what's Moody doing up to these days? Not even playing. He's not even play. He's out of the rotation. Yeah. All right. Uh, they could. I mean, they 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 could start Justin Holiday. They could. That. I mean, we've seen that a bunch of times. So it'd be, that... it would be terrifying, really frustrating if that ends up being the case. Uh, small forward, a lot of orange here. Tatum, uh, Brown, James, both questionable. Lori, another big night for him. Back to back fifty bombs for Lori Marketing gets uh, the Pelicans in this spot. Uh, thoughts here, eighty four hundred. Mm, yeah, I mean. 50 bomb, 50 bomb, price down $300. Go figure. Go figure. Mm -hmm. uh, DDR did not come through. Sad. No, he was terrible. 40 minutes. It, it, you know what's funny? He was terrible, and I don't even know how he got to four, almost 40 fantasy points. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, he was horrible the whole game. And then they end up winning. 
because the Bulls all you do is win. And he has 25 actual somehow. And he has 25 actual. Uh, So he's 83. Talked Ingram, Butler, Reeves, Kelvin off the bench. Bojan's in a tough spot. Haquez, if everybody's out. Yeah, he's He's going to have a bunch of minutes. Yeah, 31 actual. Um, All the minutes. Super, just super good, dude. He's just super good. If all these guys from Miami are out, I'm, I'm in on it, I guess. Uh, let's see. MPJ, I guess, the 61, right? That would be a play. Yep. Yep, I love probably, MPJ. Probably pretty popular, I would imagine. I, I played him on the Christmas Day slate, and I think there's just something to be said about Michael Porter when um, Jokic plays and, sure. and Murray plays because Michael Porter is just like the forgotten guy. He's like, hey, guys, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but I shoot like – better than anyone else in the league from three. So, um, can make it play 23 minutes. I don't really know what they're doing with the golden state rotation here. Uh, Wiggins, Wiggins got super true. smoking hot. Yeah. Game. He's been doing that. He's been really good off their bench. Uh, Sam Hauser's 5k. You know, shocker there. Wiggins uh, is Vince, 49. Vince Williams, 49. Wiggins is 49. Prince is 48. Good run of, of value guys here. Yeah, good to see Williams minutes still 27. Um, obviously not the 35 he's playing, but another day where he's just so reliant upon everything else. He took th- four shots, <laughs> four mm-hmm. threes. Uh, Wiggins, 4,900. Feels like a price people will get to if he's going to continue to be good off the bench. All right. Prince, you know, it is what it is. If he's going to be, if he's going to be this, then. We have to consider it at 48. Um, and I, I don't think there's much else. Like uh, Cody Martin and Christian Brown are both here, you know, for the value that also yeah. we're at shooting guard. Um, power forward. Again, a lot of guys we've discussed. AD, Tatum. Wemby's $8,700. Price dump on, on Wemby and Yami here. Can't trust that he's going to play all the minutes, but they have already decided that he won't play uh friday so do you feel any confidence here mild confidence um like how would you project his minutes if you are projecting his minutes um i don't know 28 yeah 28 probably is fair i mean he had 40 fantasy points in 24 minutes you know so he's a he's a different breed of dude so if he plays 28 minutes, I'm I'm fine getting there. Okay. But like what would you rather play that or Porzingis if there's no Brown or Tatum? Right. For a thousand dollars less. Right? Porzingis has been incredible. Yep. I saw a stat. He's the number one player. Uh he's the number one post player in the NBA. He the the he scores the most points on post ups out of any other player per possession in Porzingis does? Yes. Crazy. He's officially and he was number one last year in Washington. And it's just like trickled down. Like he just keeps. And that's just like you said in that Gold State collapse. You're like, well, Porzingis wasn't there. And that's something that Boston like just has in their back pocket whenever they need. It's like, yeah. Hey, we yeah. need a basket. Let's go to that 7 3 dude in the post. Yeah, no, dude. For, for serious. He's He's been a, a changer for them when he's on the floor. Uh, Miles Bridge is 78, 77 for Zion here again. 20, 23 11 for Zion. Uh, some back to back decent gains for him. Obviously, Utah would be a pretty decent matchup for him as well. Jeremy Grant, 6,900. Jackson, uh, 7K. Where are you going in the mid tier? Uh, future Piston, Miles Bridges. I definitely have um, some interest in with how depleted they are. Yeah. I was uh, all in on him in that matchup against Clippers, came through yep. pretty well. <laughs> Um, the Lakers, you know, you know, they're, they're not great. You know, they have AD, they have LeBron, but you know, they're, I, I no, they're not great. There. Um, no, they're not great. Uh, like to see the minutes for Zion. Obviously, there was overtime in that game, so yeah. it was 31 regulation, which we've seen a lot. But there, this does feel like a game that there could be a ceiling, and and we talked about it a bunch. If he's going to be under, I mean, the price is just. Under 8K, anytime you get Zion under 8K, it just feels... You need 38 fantasy points for 5X. So, I mean, that's a do- very doable for Zion here. So. But he's, and that's what he's averaging on the year. Um, yeah. If there's no jaw, dude, 7K for Jaron Jackson. Yeah. Is, I mean, he was he was up over 8K when, when there was no jaw. So, it's, I'm with you. 
It's a good price. And he stays out of foul trouble. He had 40 minutes. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's obviously a big if because it's does PJ Washington start with no Hayward? Do they move like bridges to the three? They could. They could do a bunch of different lineups. Like they could there's who knows what the heck they're gonna do. Sure. Um anybody else down here? Power forward for you? Um if Tatum sits, do we see double do we just see Hauser start and not Horford? Like Horford's just gonna come off. They've the done double right? big when Tatum sat, I think, previously, right? Well, there's no Isaiah Stewart. Yeah. So um who is Detroit gonna start? A sore Thompson? He's he only played eight well. minutes last game. He's he's it's pro it's a probable tag. Um they start Kevin Knox, who they gave minutes to again. I mean, TBD, I guess, on the power forward. But sure, uh, if they go double big somehow, maybe we see um, Al Horford start. If Tatum's out, he'd be fine. Um, if Nas Reed were to start in this game, if Carl Anthony Towns sat, I would obviously have interest there. But we don't know or probably think that's going to happen. How's their $5,000 for no reason at all other than what? Why is Sam Hauser? I mean, he's, I guess he's been 5K for four straight sites, and that's right. disgusting. Uh, where else are we going down here? Hachimura. Sure. I, I'd be willing to go back to Hachimura. He was the first one off the bench, played another 29 minutes. He just missed all the shots. You and I were talking about that the other day. He took 14 shots, nine three pointers. Like, yeah. hit, if, hit the last two three pointers he took. <laughs> <laughs> under a minute left, you're like, oh, that's great. That could have been the middle of the game and um, some momentum. But 4,800, he's even cheaper. Um, not like the mi- and the minutes haven't like gone anywhere. 29, right. 30, 34, really good spot. Um, I- I'm interested in Hachimura here at, at 40. And you mentioned Watson, uh, $3,800 here. If he was the start, you'd have some interest, yes. Uh, center position, Joker's 11, 3, 80, 10k, Bam at 88, hundred dollars, kind of appealing there. If everybody's out for them, Ooh, that would be maybe the first place I go. Dude, he was amazing on Christmas. He right. was amazing on Christmas. Beating up on Mo Bomber and Paul Reed, poor guys. <laughs> yeah, and you just see, like, you go from Bam to what Paul Reed faced on Tuesday, It's or Wednesday, and it's uh, Wendell Carter, Gogo Batadze, and Mo Wagner, and Paul Reed has a double-double and 40 fantasy points. That's a different dude. Bam out of bio is a different dude. So, um if there's no Butler, just Butler. Yeah. I mean, Bam is like one of my first plugs. Okay. Uh, mid-tier range, if no Towns, I guess we could try to go back to Gobert. Did not have yep. a good day the other day. Um, I don't know how much that was influenced by Towns. or just just not the right matchup with Chet. You know, maybe causing some problems. There is Drummond here at 75, though, as we talked There about. is. There sure is. <sighs> Can he go 24 and 25 again? He can. He made a career around 2020s when he was starting with Detroit. So uh, certainly possible. You know, I guess you're double bigging then if you're going Bam Drummond, if this is no uh, no Butler. I mean. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Where do you go next? Um, Miles it's, Turner is. Dick Richards, Miles Turner. Miles Turner is mildly interesting. Um, there's uh, 24 minutes. Oh, wait a second. Okay, we didn't get to him yet. Um, so Miles Turner is fine. Uh, Zach Collins didn't play any minutes in that game. J- Dude, Jalen Duran out of the gate, comes back from injury, 20 days off, 33 minutes, 12, 15, 4, 1, 1. I know it's Boston. Yeah. Just saying 6,200 is a stupidly low price for Jalen Duran. Uh, more of like a price point th- mm-hmm. thing for me than anything else. Um, Nick Richards, not Nick Smith, started that game and sure. had a responded with a double double. So that was good to see. Not Nick Smith have a double double. You're getting to Jalen Smith, I imagine. I was getting to Jalen Smith. I mean, so he started, had three fouls right off the bat, then got fouled, <laughs> or then got hurt. Um, if he's going to start, would you – I would definitely play him. Now, I don't know if the, he can 
like in a game with Pat Will, but if he were to start, I would 100. percent Yeah, I'm fine. Again, high fantasy point per minute player, so uh, fine with that. There. Anybody else? I don't the think... uh, blowout run Nemus Queda here. <laughs> I mean, you, uh, you, you, need, you need somebody to be out for that. So you need somebody to be out, which you know is definitely a possibility. Oh, uh, Portland, the Portland center situation. Oh yeah, Very, no... do, I, do I breathe in Moses Brown price right next to one another? I think that's hilarious. Um, so assuming Moses Brown starts again, right? Let's say mm-hmm. let's say they just run it run it back. Do we think Duop Reith goes nine for 15 from the floor again and 25 and nine? Because if he doesn't, does most, I mean, isn't, is to some extent, this is like the Paul Reed Mo Bamba, except there was no foul trouble. Right. Right. It's like, I'm not saying Duop Reith won't play more. I can't minutes, believe Duop Reith did this. <laughs> but he had 25 and yeah, I mean, like, we didn't talk to Barry Walker, but Jabari Walker had a monster night too. Yeah, he's also center eligible if you want to play him here. Uh, I think he's like 40, 42. 42. Um, I mean, like, I, I just I don't think you would see do a brief like play that many more minutes than Moses Brown if he doesn't go nine for 15, but sure. Yeah, I'm with you. What do you uh, what do you want to build your lineups with? What do you want to build your lineups with? Well, we talked about Drummond right away, so I guess we start there. Yeah, I've... there's just so much good center value. You can play both. You can play Jan Smith. He probably starts again. Yeah, it's just. You hate plugging both your centers. I get it. Yeah. But Drummond did just go for 64. He did. He sure and did. now he's got the Pacers matchup. He sure does. He sure did, and he sure does. Both those things are factual. Plug Pod in. Probably just plug Smart in. Yeah. Um, Michael Porter. Let's see. What's your what's your next play here? Good Derek White, maybe. I'm not against Derek White. That's fine. A forward and a power forward for like sixty seven apiece. Um. Oh, Cody Martin, right? Yeah, Cody Martin. He's small forward, shooting guard. So let's get this. And is Porter only power forward? No, okay. No, he's you have dual eligibility. Yeah. So now we have 9,500 for a Ford, which you know, would be Wemby. Um, figure out some money to get to LeBron somewhere, I guess, if we could get off of Derek White, maybe. Um, for Clarkson. I mean, do you want to like play Halliburton or, or LeBron here? Um, so- I mean, the LeBron thing is definitely interesting if that game blows out. I feel better about the Indiana Chicago game. Indiana just massive pace down spot. I guess that yeah. doesn't necessarily matter because Indiana's in a pace down spot every game. Right. Um, and they just were, let I me mean, look at the pace down spots he was in. Right. right? And he had what he had. Um, just do like Hakez and Halliburton. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that works. Uh, Podzinski, Smart, Martin, Porter, Drummond, Halliburton, Hakez, and Jalen Smith in his gamble lineup for this slate. Uh, if you guys have any questions for us at all, find us in Discord. Find us on Twitter. We'll be back live at 5 o'clock Eastern time to break all the latest news down for everybody. Till then, everybody, though, good luck. We'll catch you later.